Okay, today we're doing the final review for the Safari Flea Comb. And I'll have a link in the uh, About section to where you can buy this online. Um, I just actually noticed that my vet carries this when Camus and Murphy were in for um, their dentals recently. My vet had Safari Combs. So we got this one. We got a Safari... Um, flea comb that's that's metal tines instead of these plastic ones and then we also got just a regular comb um, so flea combs um, have really close tines so that they'll pull, pull out fleas um, or flea dirt and you can see on this one it has two different versions uh, one that's a little bit wider apart and one that's a little bit closer and during my arrival video, someone mentioned that they like flea combs for grooming purposes for their, um, a cat's, <laughs> he's got to smell it first, um, whisker area and their forehead area. And Charlie really likes it. I also really like it for this business right here. It kind of gets caught in his, um, in his mouth and stuff. I know I got your, I'm sorry. Go like this. Whoa. Now, if you're going to use this um, as a flea comb, then there's certain areas. I mean, like, look at this, like, fine hair back here. You can get it with that, too. So that's not necessarily what it is created for. It is for getting flea. <laughs> but we're so tired. But we're so tired. I can't even keep my eyes open. It's very hard. Um, it, it is a flea comb. I mean, that's the name of it for a reason. Um, but Charlie doesn't have any fleas and hopefully will, will not this summer, spring. So I can't necessarily test it for the, the flea thing, but when you do want to see if your cat has fleas, the kind of the two areas that my vet concentrates on when they do it is right here back on the neck and then right here back by the tail. Um, just those are two spots that are hard for cats to clean. So flea dirt sometimes accumulates in those areas. I was also messing around with this on his paws. It gets paw hair really well. I don't know why you'd ever need it on their paws. Actually, my cat Rags, um, as he was getting older, had an issue with um, tiny little mats. What are you doing? You're a freak um, on his paws. And uh, <laughs> so you could use it for that. You could use it for crazy kitties. Cra oh, you're a crazy kitty? Oh, you woke up? You woke up because somebody was touching your toes? But who's touching your toes? It's right to yours. Right to yours. This is also great, this little hole. Um, you know, you can put this in a drawer. You could um, hang it on a wall in a closet. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's lots of other options when you have a hole. Mmm. I don't mind a flea comb so much. I'll switch it to the other side. You can see that it gets those tiny little, um, what are those called? Those brown hairs on Charlie's forehead. My thumb gets them too. But, um, okay, so that. And then you can use them on their main body too. Charlie really doesn't like to be brushed on his main body. So the closer the tines, the more annoying it is for him and the more upset he gets. So it's not worth it for me. Um, <laughs> he's pretty mad right now because I was brushing him with the tines. I know, I know, I know it. Will you? You want me? Will you? Look at that. Hey, Bob, I'm going to get this again. Ready? Oh, yes. Yes, just for the kitties. So tell me if you have a Safari Flea Comb or a Flea Comb, what you like about it, what your preferences are. Um, Charlie likes to bite it. But we can't bite it. It's plastic, and it ends up we're going to have a visit to the emergency vet if you break it. You can't break it. Okie dokie. Again, I'll include a link in the about section below if you would like to buy one of these. Um, and 
I definitely recommend it um, if you want to get those little detailed hairs or if you live in a flea area and want to make sure that your cat doesn't have fleas. Um, that's This is a good way to, to find out. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and we'll see you next time. See if I can turn it. <laughs> this fire flea comb is also fun for play. <laughs> Bob, it's like two tools in one. Like three in one tool, maybe. It's a toy, it's a cat interactive toy, it's a flea comb, and it's a whisker comb. Bob, you think if they marketed it as a whisker comb, it would sell? Say, kitties don't need their whiskers combed. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that if your cat loses a whisker, you you know pull it off and then you like put it in their face, they always want to bite it. Same with um, my cats when they uh, what should I call it? When can I talk? Um, no 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 no. Um, they always want to bite their own hair too. Looking very debonair, my friend. So that little activity that I just did kind of ruined it right there on the ends. So maybe you don't want to run it underneath an upholstered piece of fabric. <laughs> but you, that, that you could totally do with the metal one. It's just the plastic, probably. But overall, it stayed in really good shape to go through that kind of abuse. Oh, say no. Down, boy, down. We did this and 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 this. Puppet's on your tail. Puppet's on your tail. A finger's on your tail. A finger's got a hair in the tail. Bub. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this one. Bub, we get the, all the hair out. Oh! You get all the hair out. Oh, get that this one, get this one, get this one, get this one. <laughs> Say bye, people of YouTube. She's gonna stop harassing me now, I hope. I will you.